The new price discount dashboard is here. My name is John Urban, and I am a brand manager at my Amazon guy. Let's dive in. So where is it that we're going to find our price discounts uh, dashboard? We're going to go here to our main menu, and usually it should be under advertising. And make this example because uh, normally you won't find it here if you don't enable it under your manage global permissions section. So we're going to go here to our user permissions. You will find your admin email. In this case, we're using this one. We're going to click on the manage global permissions here and you will find it here under advertising. It's going to be the first one here. It will say known. You're going to put it here on view and edit. Go all the way to the end, save changes, and that's it. Usually for uh, some of the changes that we enable um, on Amazon, it takes a little while. For this one, it's going to be automatically there. You're going to refresh, and immediately when you go to your hamburger menu here, you will find under advertising that your price discounts, it's already enabled. So here, we will see all the discounts that we are running at that time. And uh, if we want to create one, we're going to click here on create a price discount. We're going to put here one, let's call it test price discount dashboard. And one of the cool things is that we can make discounts in uh, all of the marketplaces that we are running at that time. We're going to select the United States, we're going to select our main account, and we're going to put the start date. Uh, now, price discounts are going to be available uh, for 30 days at the most. So as you can see here, if I start my price discount on June 1st, and then I want to uh, go all the way to July, I won't be able to go further than July 1st. So uh, it's going to be only for 30 days, and um, then what we're going to do here is that we're going to select the products, the SKUs that we want to uh, give the discounts to. We're going to go to our manager inventory page. I already have it open here. Although I have a part in selected that I want to use for my price discount. So, uh, after you selected your ASINs, uh, SKUs, or parent ASINs in this case, you're going to uh, populate this uh, search bar here. You're going to click on search and you will see in this case, my parent with all of its child. Let me put here my video. And what is that I'm going to do? Let's say that I want to give a discount for my 1499 items uh so this one here um we don't have a feature offer here so you will see what it's going to happen in this case let's go and let's look for another 1499 glass let me go to this one and let me go to this one and this one and this one perfect let me put this in here and after you selected the SKUs that you want to give the discount to, you're going to click here on add. And when we go up here, we'll see that we already added seven products. So after I added all of my products, everything is perfectly set here. I'm going to set my discounts. Then what is it that is happening here? I have for one ASIN, I have um two SKUs, one that is um, FBA, Amazon Fulfill, and the other one, it's Merchant Fulfill, FBM. So what is it I'm going to do? I'm going to select the one that I have active, that it's in stock right now, the FBA one, I will submit it, and that's it. So immediately, it's going to give me by default the 5% off, that it's the minimum requirement for my discount. So um, you will see here that I will have a price, uh, the strike through price for this ASIN that I have here. I won't have it for this one because I don't have a reference price. I will explain right now what that is. Here I will have it here, here, and here. So it's a perfect tool. I don't know uh, 
uh, what has been your experience, but <laughs> in my experience, I have to get into the listing. I want to give a, a sales price uh, or a discounted price. I, I'm not sure if I have the historical price, the price history that I need for my stride through to appear on my product detail page. So I have to do kind of a trial and error thing. So uh, with this tool, with this dashboard, the good thing is that you will know already if you're going to get the stride to price when you go to your product detail page. Okay, so the stride to price uh, is this line that it's, you know, uh, crossing your old price and you will see this 5% discount off besides and uh, the new price here. So uh, let's say that we want to give a 10% discount. So I will put it here, 1349. And look, immediately I see that I will get a 10% off right through price and 1349 as my final price. So do I want to give it to this uh, one glass if I'm not going to see the stride to price? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's better for me to do a coupon or something that I will see that green tag or that um, you know uh, discounted price highlighted. So um, my reference price it's going to be the last price that um, I've gotten some sales you know, in the last 30 days. So if I, I haven't got any sales in the last 30 days, enough sales for me to have the 1499 as a reference price, then I won't be able to get that stride to price on the discounted price. So, uh, you know what? I don't want to give it to this one here. Uh, so I will select it and I will remove it. Then uh, 1424, let's give it 1349 for that 10% off. 1349 for that 10% off. 1349 here and 1349 here. Perfect. So I have 10% off of each of these ASINs. Great. So how many units do I want to commit? This is another great feature. So um, I will commit, let's say I have 41 in stock, let's commit 30 units, 62 in stock, let's commit 30 units to 30 units here. And I have only 10 in stock. You know what? I don't know if I want to give a discount on a stock with only 10 units. So you know what? I'm going to select it and I will remove it. So here, 59, let's give 30 units, let's commit 30 units for this discount. Perfect, after I committed the units, selected the discounted price, then I will submit. When I click submit, then I'm going to go to my main dashboard, I will refresh it, and yeah, this is one that I canceled before and the new one that we just made, it's processing. So after it finished processing, you will see you will see it here active. And then of course you will be able to edit your discounts and make any changes. So um, let me know what are your thoughts. Um, how do you uh, like this new price discount dashboard, uh, comment, you can put your comments uh, below, um, you know, of this video. And if you have any more questions and you want to know more about what we do, you can go to our website that it's myamazonguide.com. You can check on all of the services that we provide. We are an education company that happens to be an agency. So uh, my name is John Urban. I'm a brand manager at My Amazon Guy and uh, hope you like it. Bye-bye.